welcome to another episode of the SharePoint Toolbox. Today I want to show you a small complex solution called SharePoint 2010 Blob Cache Manager, which is a solution for the central administration. With this solution you can manage the Blob Cache settings. It's developed by Brian Nuitz. But let's go to the download section. You can get the WSP. I copy it to a folder so I can install it later. First I explain what the blob cache is. It's a performance optimization which is controlled in the web config. I open it. There you can see it's currently disabled. It has a size of 20 gigabytes and what file extensions should be cached. So you define what files should be stored in the file and not loaded from the content DB. With many requests this is better for your database and it's more performant. And to see how well it performs I created a Visual Studio performance test which does many requests on the SharePoint with 100 users simultaneously. Okay, there you can see the, the request and it basically goes to my SharePoint, opens the fast search center, the search center and a tracking page with um, bigger JavaScript files or CSS. Okay, let's run this. It warms up for 30 seconds, so um, we have equal starting conditions for both runs. But let's skip this. This is the last five seconds. You can see some performance performance graphs. Now I have to save the settings so I can um, compare them later. without blob cache. Okay, now I can install the WSP, open up PowerShell. I have a small script to install the WSP. Install PS1. Now the web application port and it does install it or remove it if it was deployed before. This takes a couple of seconds. Yeah, it was installed before. But it should be installed very soon. Okay. Now it deploys. Okay, we are good to go. Let's switch to the central admin. Reload. And then we can see in the top right there's a new icon, Blob Cache Management. Now when you select the web application a new dialog opens where you can control the blob cache settings. Okay, open it. Now you can enable it, set the size, the location, the max age, and all the file extension which should be cached. Okay, the settings will be saved. Then let's switch to the web uh, web config. You see. Um, something has changed, it's enabled now. Okay, that's good. Reload the SharePoint if, to see if everything is okay. Yep, still looking good. Now back to the test and let's run it again. Good, 
it has 30 seconds warm up again and then one minute with 100 users simultaneously let's skip it okay this is looking good now let's export it to Excel with a nice summary but first give it a name Blob cache enabled export to Excel uh, report name comparison select the two tests Okay, basic settings, let's see. Okay. Test comparison tells us, oh, it's 3% better than the baseline, the first run. For the pages, this means it's up to 70% faster than before. That's Wow. And here you can see the details. 30% faster page time, 50% more requests per second. That's very good. To sum it all up, the Blob Cache Manager is a very cool solution. It's small, but it does the job and it enables you to control the cache settings from the central admin. That's it for now. Thanks again for watching.